Admiral's Log. Today marks the beginning of a new era in naval warfare. Construction of the Divine Broadside class, the largest warship ever built, has finally begun. This is a testament to the progress we have made in shipbuilding since the early days of battleships displacing just 30,000 tons. The Divine Broadside class is a technological marvel with a displacement of just over 150,000 tons. I can only imagine the shock and awe that will be inspired when other nations see this behemoth appear on the horizon. Of course, our enemies will be quick to react, and it is only a matter of time before they start developing their own megaships. But for now, we will revel in the knowledge that we have achieved a great technological milestone. As always, the future is uncertain, and our enemies are always watching. But with the Divine Broadside at our disposal, I have no doubt we'll be able to defend our interests and maintain our position as a great naval power. Hey guys, still here and welcome to episode 22. We are clashing in the Yellow Sea with the British. Um, there's not a whole lot of my ships around. It's the Kayo, the Mikaho and the Setsu. These were originally involved in the uh, invasion here in Waihei The British apparently sent a fleet um, that arrived way later than they probably hoped. And by the time that they already thwarted my invasion, their fleet actually arrived. So now we're facing Devonshire, Basilisk, Irresistible, Powerful, Duke of York and Temeraire. It's uh, an interesting combination of ships. They do seem to be substantially older. I'm seeing 12.4 inch guns, I'm seeing 14.4s, 12.4, 15 and more 15. This however is the Marlboro class, 8 15 inch guns, I believe we already eliminated one of the Marlboros. And the Devonshire is an Argyle class battleship which only has 6 15 inch guns. Then they have a slew of escorts, basically a whole bunch of destroyers. These guys come with four torpedo tubes. Their speed of 36.2 could give us a bit of trouble if they manage to get into range. And uh, oh, that's a lot of torpedo tubes on the Walpole. That's 11 torpedo tubes. Okay. So these guys are um, basically they're all over the place. There's the Sea Bear class, there's the Nugent class, Seafire, Wrestler class, Ven. Oh, sorry, that's another red wrestler, Sycamore. How many classes of DD do you have? Bloody hell, the Brits have been busy. Um, credit where credit is due, by the way. The British and other factions now actually scrap their older ships. I'm not sure exactly when the AR started doing this, but as I was waiting for turns to pass and for events to clear, I saw that the AI actually started scrapping their ships. So I was very pleasantly surprised. I'm actually interested in seeing what other designs or what other new ships they have put in their place. Now, what I completely skipped over is what ships I have. I have three battleships of different classes. I have Mikaho. Uh, the Mikaho is a ship that has been recently overhauled. The Mikaho class initially had that weird starboard two, port two, and then two forward turrets. That has now been overhauled. Because that was, I believe, all 13-inch guns or even 12s. Now she has 15s. And these are 15 Mark 3s, ranging out to 29 kilometers if you're opting for high explosive experience. We also have the battleship Setsu. She has not yet been modernized. So she is of a similar type. And you can see that she still has the older 13-inch guns. She's doing 25 knots. Uh, Mikaho is still doing 25 knots. Mikaho has zero armor here? Or on the four inch turrets. Yeah, that's this thing over here on the superstructure. I didn't armor that up apparently. Oh well. The Kayo is the new kid on the block. <clears throat> Kayo displaces more... Uh, not twice as much, but a, a lot more. She carries 18 13.9s. These are Mark 3s. They don't have as much range. But I expect that their broadside is going to be fairly devastating. The Takao heavy cruiser is one of the Son of Sawas. Very dangerous armament. This 9 inch Mark V. We got the Oi light cruiser. The modernized version of this light cruiser. With 7 inch guns. Now these 7 inchers fire every 25 seconds. 
And I found that especially the seven inches in combination with the two inches, everything firing high explosive will melt ships. Overwhelming fires all over the place. Then we got one destroyer here, and that is the Usogumo. She only carries six torpedoes, or six torpedo launchers, but she's mostly here to potentially make a dash at one of the enemy battleships. And actually, let's have her go out and scout some. Uh, I want the heavy cruiser and the light cruiser both to start following the other ships, because I don't want to have to... No, I don't want to have to micromanage them too much. So you guys are going to follow. They have spotted Mikaho, so they're likely going to be very close. Weather is not great. It's a bit cloudy. Some smooth waves. And uh, no further massive detractors to accuracy. So, the 15-inch guns are going to go loud as soon as I can spot what is actually shooting me. And what is actually shooting me is one of their ships here. It's already been a bit damaged. I suspect it might have hit a mine. Wow, you still got side-mounted turrets? That's... Really old school. That's really interesting. Didn't think anybody's still using those. Okay, we're gonna slow down all the way to 20 knots, which classes as full speed for Mikaho, and hopefully that'll allow her and her fellow combatants a lot of accuracy. Uh, Kayo is by far the slowest ship. She's doing 24 knots. Well, not by far then. 24 knots versus 25 knots. So, yeah, she's a bit slower, but not by that much. The Kayo has also been detected. I'm surprised, actually, that they didn't spot this thing first. Considering that it's carrying a small skyscraper. And uh, the others... Well, they also have a tower, but it's not nearly as tall as what the Kayo is ferrying around. Now, it looks like we already got one hit on somebody. Uh, I'm going to switch everybody over to high explosive. Which will not necessarily help me deal a lot of damage to the battleships. But if a destroyer happens to be caught between whatever I'm trying to hit and uh, my own ships, it is potentially going to get wiped out in one shot. We got there then. That's an interesting design. This is the Marlboro, if I'm not mistaken, because it has that really heavy bow problem. The rest of them... That's that side-mounted thing. Another side-mounted thing. Ooh, you look a little worse for wear. Ah, we found our 12.4 inch combatant. She also carries 12.4s on the sides, which I completely ignored when I was going through their ship selection. All right, gentlemen. Uh, Kayo, are you in range yet? Yeah, you are, 4% chance to hit. The Kayo is only a trained crew. Setsu is veteran and Mikaho is trained. I think she might have lost a little bit of veterancy the moment that she was pulled into dock to get overhauled. I think this was a fairly big broadside from Kayo. Yeah, we're gonna go full broadside here, people. I want to start doing a lot of damage. Torpedo range is only 6-4, so I might be able to wipe this battleship out if I so desire. But right now, it's not that likely to happen yet. What we got here, then? Are you supposed to be a light cruiser or something? Okay. Comes with a few torpedo tubes on the stern. And some really small guns. Just eight 5.7s. Comes to the funnels. I was hoping the British fleet would be really condensed. But sadly they're not. Okay, secondaries on whatever the hell that is. Probably a destroyer. What's the torpedo range on this DD? Six. Okay. Right then. Um, seeing as I'm not actually seeing a very condensed fleet. I'm going to just punch a couple of big holes with armor piercing into this ship here. Kayo is firing semi-ballistic. Excellent. Setsu. Semi-ballistic as well. Mikaho. Semi-ballistic. Okay, so even at an angle such as this, I should have very little trouble actually penning that ship. Um, if it... Holy moly. You did. Well, you'd think so. <laughs> this thing overpenned the torpedo launcher <laughs> with a 13 inch shell. Yeah, I would hope so. Otherwise, that would be a bit <laughs> underwhelming. 
If we couldn't pen the launcher with a 15 inch shell. Oh man. Okay. Um, could we please kindly fire at the battleship and only use secondaries for purposes such as wiping out destroyers and other light stuff? Takao and Oi, I want you to start intercepting this group. I don't want to have these people anywhere near me. And this battleship, can this do anything? No. No. Certainly no. Nice broadside from the Makaho. That's the 15 inchers. Uh, she's already been hit by something else, probably 13s. If this pens, that's going to leave a substantial scar on this battleship here. Boom. Main tower damaged. Set of fires. Very good. Now, I believe the British only had about 40 ships. Yeah, well, yeah. Something in the range of 40 ships left. So I'm not really sure if this is the entirety of the British group. Or if this is, well, maybe like a quarter of what they have in total. Jeez, this is the 13 inchers. Holy crap, that's a lot of fire. Ooh, full pen. Engine damaged. Lots of flooding and the ship has lost well over half her structural integrity. Next salvo going in. Boom, 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 boom. Destroyed main tower. That is going to make your damage control even harder. And I think we're going to see that this ship is trying to fall back. But a little late. She's not going to be able to get any weight. Um, what we got here? We got the DD. And a CL. Yeah, it's a bit confusing because they're using all of these different CL classes. Um, oh, come to think of it. I'm still getting used to the whole splash mechanic. I mean, shell splashes from one ship now actually uh, make life more difficult for others. There she goes. So you're going to target the last ship in line. Do I now have one for every ship? One. Destroyed main gun. Perfect. Two. Three. Yes. If you hold Control shift alt and then right-click a target... You're going to have one of your ships engage that. So I only had Mikaho selected. Control, right, shift, alt, and right click. Oh, sorry. Uh, control, shift, alt, right click. And this way I'm not getting, well, ideally, not getting too much interference from having several ships fire at the same target. Because they're all specifically engaging their own target. Here comes the salvo from the Mikaho. Oh, that is glorious. That is glorious. Take a print screen of that. Thank you. And she does this every minute or so. You're targeting the middle battleship. Boom, 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 boom. 3,000 points of damage with one hit. What did you pen? The aft belt. Okay. Here comes the North Esk. Well, I stand corrected. Uh, the spider. Oh, hold on a minute. North Ask has launched against the Kayo. I'm going to tell the Kayo to change direction, if at all possible. People split. Thank you. Kayo is not particularly maneuverable. What have you been sending your torpedoes after? Oh, give me the spider. Mikaho. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of course correcting. I want you guys to just push in. Jesus, these guys are getting butchered. Just no contest. You take the broadside one. Akaho, you can take the crippled one. And you can take this one. And uh, secondaries on the spider. Secondaries on the recruit. Secondaries on whatever that happens to be. Okay. I think it's the... Heavy, yeah, that's the heavy cruiser doing some damage. Seeing some rudder damage on the powerful. Didn't you lose a turret? Yeah, your A turret's gone. They still got their cute wing turrets. What's the Arethusa gonna do? Help with damage repair? Nice steering there, dude. Outbound torps. Inbound torps. Uh, Setsu, continue to turn. Kaya, we're gonna go into a full turn, because otherwise I'm... Um, 
It's going to take a lot of time before I'm able to get all of those guns of yours back on target. Uh, you, I want you to engage the spider. Boom, 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 boom. Jesus. The ship hasn't even been fully identified yet, but I don't think that she's going to be. Irresistible. Irresistible not to shoot at it, you mean? Um, let's see. Wow. Takao. Do better. Oh, that's the oi that's launching all the torps. I kind of forgot about that. Hello, where are you at? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so the spider took a big chunk of damage right there. Irresistible. The Duke of York is sinking. The rattlesnake is crippled. The powerful is not so powerful anymore. There goes the spider. Can you actually pen this battleship? Yeah, with some persuading, you probably can. Both of you, fire high explosive at this battleship and see if we can just burn it down. Because I believe that between the two of you, you guys can set so many fires that this battleship is going to get very, very quickly overwhelmed. <laughs> Which is a disastrous way to go for a battleship. I mean, yeah, this guy is going to have a really, really rough day. But it's going to be their last, so I suppose it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Boom, 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 boom. Very good. Damage done by fires is not really that substantial because so far she's been mostly hit by something vastly bigger. Um. Ah, you're broadside again. Very good. Very good. Four and a half K? What? That was the 15 inch. That did four and a half K damage with one hit. So those were the guns from the Mikaho. She's done 26, Kayo has done 14, and Setsu has done 15. 18 for the heavy cruiser and 8 for the light. I still want to finish off, ideally, all of these uh, destroyers of theirs, because they're still a substantial threat to my battleships. And if not strictly a threat, then at least a nuisance to the tune where these guys are going to be forcing me to change direction and as such making it very difficult to bring all my guns to bear. Powerful is down to 8% buoyancy. There we go. There's more. F yeah, she's going to go to overwhelm. I think we need like three or four fires and that ought to do it. Boom. Okay. Next. Walpole. Oh, 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 oh. You're an evil little destroyer, aren't you? Launching torpedoes at the Takao. I don't think so, dude. Uh, I hope that the light cruiser is going to grow a brain anytime soon, so I can actually have her change. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. That torpedo changed direction at the last moment. Uh, join the CA. Murder this thing. This is one really aggressive DD, getting far closer than it ought to be. 14 million worth of uh, DD. There she goes. Extensive fire. The stork. Holy mother of god, that's a lot of torps. You almost torpedoed your friend. And again, you're just a recruit, I guess. Sorry, right, gonna keep the dad jokes trained, or I'm gonna forget them. Um. Any big shooters here? Let's see. You're gonna try and take aim at a destroyer? Do better. Something that I noticed, by the way, is that we're now in version 1.2.6. And um, every now and then, I think that the patch notes are <laughs> addressing issues that I specifically have. Whereas with 1.2.6, they had a patch log that says um, fixed an issue where if a ship turns really, really quickly. So if you throw her into a hard turn, like I'm doing with the Takao right now. And the game is running on fast speed. Sometimes the turrets get stuck. The turrets don't turn. I thought, yep, <laughs> I've had that. 
and I've had that happen on video quite a few times. So it is entirely possible that that is one of the bugs that they might have seen in one of my vids and went, uh-huh, we're fixing that. So if that's the case, um, much appreciate it. I'm glad that that's no longer an issue. If it has, in fact, been fixed. I mean, you can write patch logs, but it doesn't necessarily mean that whatever is in the patch log is actually in the code. Ah, there we go. Nice bow hit on the Devonshire. One hit from the 15 inch. Now, this thing did 3200 damage. That's uh, Mikaho's guns. These supposedly deal 2300 damage at best. So, yet again, if you go into the ship designer, the ship designer is going to tell you if you kit this ship out this way, it's going to do X amounts of damage with this shell. Yet, ooh, fantastic shot. Yet, once again, I'm seeing something very, very different. I mean, what just happened was that this 15-inch gun, which fired from the Mikaho with armor piercing, did 3,200 damage. Uh, no, 5,190. Sorry, that's the DD. 3,200 damage, so that's higher than it should be. The 9-inch gun from the heavy cruiser... Did 5,200 damage if you round it up. According to the HE stats, she can do 400. Not 5,100. 400. So it's just either not working as intended or it's a complete misrepresentation of what the ship can actually do. Because the stats aren't anywhere near. I'm playing this extremely dangerous. Being half a click from a DD is... Not necessarily in my best interests. Better finish this thing quick. Thank you. You take that one. One problem with these ships is that they're pretty... Pretty slow. I'm going to push you back to flank speed. To try and have you actually join the battle again. It's Makaho and Kayo. Well, the Makaho is still fighting. But the Kayo is a bit far away. No, sorry. Uh, Setsu. With her massive 13-inch broadside. She's too far away. Anyway, I'm happy to see that the Kayo with her 13-inchers uh, her is doing substantial amounts of damage. But not nearly as much as these 15-inchers. They're consistently delivering a lot of damage. Cute torp you got there. Careful you point that thing, somebody might get hurt. Least of all me. Come on. Ship is dead. Okay, switch target. Recruit. Ooh. There's also a CL running away, that's the Arethusa that we saw collide with the battleship. How are you not dead? Oh, hold on a moment. Temeraire and Devonshire are still out there. Kayo is heading right for them. Who are you targeting? Irresistible. I completely forgot that these guys existed. Um, can you push these guys from over here? Because your 15s can reach out that far. You're going to finish off Devonshire if you uh, would be so kind. Arthosa is going to be a bit of a nuisance. Kayo... Yeah, I was going to have to go broadside and deal damage with the AP salvo. Which should bite into the bow of the battleship. And cause a substantial beating to maybe the bow turret or the front tower. Partial pen. Yeah, don't worry. That's not all the shells yet. Plenty more where that came from. Chance to pen, 12%. But just as much as you can trust these numbers... You can trust these numbers. Because the Kayo is most likely going to deal far more damage than that. There goes another recruit. Go for the Stork. Go for the Archer. Archer doesn't have any Torps. Stork doesn't have any Torps. Dublin does. And there was a light cruiser somewhere here. Yeah, Arathusa. 
Her torp range is nine and a half. So she's potentially going to be an issue. Okay. Back to Kayo. Because we're going to see another big broadside from the Kayo right about now. So I don't have any chance to pen according to this. But I think we're going to see some damage numbers. There you go. Partial pen. Full pen. That was a lot of damage in one salvo. Just for shits and giggles, I should just fire high explosive at it. It's cap ballistic HE. It's gonna deal a lot of damage. Um, how much superstructure do you have? 2.8. Range is what, 5? Five? 5, exact. There goes the stork. So at 5, I can pen 9.3 inches of armor. You have an armor quality of 150%. So your armor quality and superstructure is about 6 ish. Alright, so here comes the full HE salvo against the Temeraire, which is already badly burning. This could finish her off simply by putting the whole thing on fire. Two extra fire set. That's a bit less than I was expecting, really. Ow. 4% chance to pen the Devonshire. Okay. That seems really, really low. Target Devonshire. Use armor piercing. Ow. And now I'm putting my most expensive battleship broadside onto a target. But I believe that if I can get a good salvo off, I can immediately wipe the whole thing out. Now, these light cruisers. Nicely done. It's these two inchers. These two inchers are doing such an incredible amount of fire damage over a very short period of time that even if these things have spacious... Oh, sorry, they have few bulkheads. Even if these things have some bulkheads, even many, they can still get overwhelmed. Because these two inchers, and there's quite a lot of them, they fire very, very, very quickly. These things reload in three and a half seconds, and it generally takes the damage control party more time to finish the fire to put the fire out. Okay, where's the Kayo? Oh, sorry, of course the Kayo's over here. Uh, here comes the damage. Come on, a couple of bow hits would be great. Partial pen. Fire, rudder damaged, flooding. With this many floodings, the ship could go down. Maxi bulk has the... Oh! That's what I like to see. Here's the flash fire right now. So where's Makaho at? You're there. Where's... Where's Setsu? Setsu! You get to finish off the Temeraire, if at all possible. Um, you think you launched all your torps? Or they got blown off? Ooh, good damage there. Where's the CA? Here's the CA. Go to auto selector. 12% chance to pen. 94% accuracy. This thing is no joke. You're still firing on... Oh, right. I told you to start shooting at the Devonshire all the way over there. To help out the lonely battleship. But now we're going to finish off this guy instead. So Mikaho. Use the 15 inchers. Give him the good news. You are the lucky winner of a full 15-inch salvo. Destroy the casemate gun. Devonshire sinks. Switch your fire to the Dublin. What sort of pen do you have at this range? Six inches-ish. Yeah, I'm not surprised you're an HE spammer, generally. Doesn't mean you cannot do the other task as well, but it's less efficient. So, Kayo, are you done with the other guy yet? The Temeraire? Just the amount of shells that the ship puts out. Boom, 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 boom. Holy shit. That's almost 7k. Yeah, I love these ships. They're so useful. There goes the Irresistible. And the Arathusa seems to be making a Hail Mary pass against the Takao. There goes Temeraire. Are you done here yet? 
No, not yet. Okay, work on that. Ooh, rude. Yeah. That's going to be the end of you. HE select. The HE shells, 15 inch at three and a half kilometers. So let's say five, 14 inches of shell pen. This thing can do so much damage with high explosive of all things. Steady out. And I'm going to turn, I want to level the ship and I want to make sure I get all the accuracy I can get against Arathusa. I'm going to see what HE actually does. Supposedly it's going to do 2,900 damage per shell. So I'm likely to see something in the range of six. I'm also going to change the Takao's direction because I'm concerned that she might get torpedoed. Oh, no, you just torpedoed the battleship. Here we go. Boom, 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 dead. 6,000 damage. That was spot on when I said we're more likely to see something in the range of six. Okay, so you're the last man standing, correct? The last ship sailing around. Well, let's change that right quick then. Because I have more 15 inch high explosive. And you have run out of time. Oh, <laughs> what a way to go. <laughs> there you go. Job done. 18,000 victory points. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it was fun. This was a fun battle. I like this. Oh, man. Okay, so how is that going to impact the mighty British Empire? How is this going to change the playing field for them? Because they just sent a whole bunch of battleships my way. They didn't have that many battleships to begin with. Because most of their fleet was either in dock for repair... Or was out there fighting something. So I suspect... <laughs> fight to the end. I suspect that we're going to find that the British are maybe fielding 30 ships, 25-ish. I think this will also be good for tourism for Japan. Because this is going to be a very, very interesting diving spot right about now. It's going to be a very interesting diving location. Now, my ship's going to take a bit of time to repair. That's fine. How's my invasion thing going? One for three. I need 5,000 tons. <laughs> I got 50 times that. Oh, lovely. Cool. We're going to continue. Okay, what's coming up for research? Any good guns? Any interesting things? One upgrade. Mark 413s. Yeah, okay, fine. Finances. Ooh, we're way over. We are way, way, way over. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's go on with a couple more turns. Okay, so we've seen how my battleships do against their battleships. It looks like we have one latecomer for the British battleships, and it's the Argyle. Or rather, the Black Prince of the Argyle class. Six 15-inch guns. I only have one heavy cruiser. It's the 1923 variant of the Son of Sawa. I don't know if I'll win this, but I'm willing to try. Is my heavy cruiser design so good? Is this thing so survivable and so maneuverable that I can actually outshoot an enemy battleship? Because I just did a video where I have said that under the right circumstances, a battleship can fall to a heavy cruiser. And this is pretty much a jack of all trades design, the Tokiwa. She has her 9 inch guns. Arguably, she has a bit more of them than normally should be happening in 1920 something. But hey, it's, uh, it's what I have and it's what I'm willing to use. And what I also have in my advantage. Oh, you're low fuel? Oh, that's going to make my life way easier. Okay. If you have a low fuel warning over your ship, the ship is going to be very, very, very slow. So this is now a completely one-sided fight. Because that ship... Hello. Thank you. Uh, that ship normally should be able to do 20, 25 knots, something in that vicinity. But if you're low fuel, I think you can only do about 7 knots or something. So I can perfectly, 
perfectly state, I want to fight at this range. I want to attack from stealth, from concealment, where you simply can't see me. You can see the ship already took a bunch of damage. I didn't do that much damage to the ship. And the one hit then registers the damage. So the one hit supposedly knocked out 146 crew members. But it really didn't. Now, they might be blocking my damage. But I don't think they really are. Because the fire damage is going to start to add up. The Fire Nation attacks. I'm only hoping that I can identify the ship soon enough so I can actually see how much there is actually going on here. Let's do an AP salvo to see if something will actually bite into the ship. Block, 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 ricochet. Okay, so the answer is no. We're going back to high explosive. How much do I have? I got 400 shells of high explosive. Ought to be fine. Damage the main tower. Excellent. Superstructures, funnels, they're all fair game. Because they generally don't have a lot of armor. Now, they probably detect me at a range of 12-ish. Let's speed up a little again. Because the ship does seem to know where she's getting shot from. I mean, the AI always knows where the other ships in the area are. So that's exactly what you're seeing here. The real question is, what are they going to do about it? Because the only thing they can do is try and get into range and hope that they spot me. But really, it's not likely to happen. It's not that likely that they'll actually be able to identify me or be able to spot me. Um, and even if they can spot me, that they'll be able to hit me. Because I'm right now running at about 30 knots. I can do 35 if I really want to make the ship difficult to hit. So because of that, she's going to have damage and stability. She's going to have potentially a damaged main tower by the time that she can see me. If she can see me. And she might not have such a good crew to begin with. 89%, 90. Come on, how much can I expect from this ship? I am very, very tempted to just push in and pepper this thing at short range with armor piercing. Because while it's... Well, it's not strictly what I designed the ship to do. 20 knots. Effective speed? 12 knots? That's still pretty ins pretty impressive, considering her low fuel state. Um, Side armor. 15 inches plus 126% for the main belt. Fore belt and aft belt. Let's say about 13 inches both. And... Um, I can pen that. If I can find a broadside position. Her 15 inch guns are a bit of a threat, however. She'll probably be able to go right through me. Not at this range, but shorter range? Probably. Now, I can just keep doing this fight, but if I lose one ship, just trying to have some fun, I don't mind. So, we're gonna go full ahead flank. And I'm going to hold fire. To make sure that I don't waste too many shells. Ship is burning. Bulkheads, maximum. Range 10. She still hasn't seen me. We're going to do a drive-by against this battleship. 9. 8 kilometers out. She still hasn't seen me? Now she spotted me. Chance to hit, 2%. At uh, this range, we're 6 4. I can still probably not pen them. AP shells, capitalistic one. They're gonna ricochet at this angle. But, but the ship is starting to turn to starboard, so she's opening up. And she's gonna give me an increasingly appealing broadside to shoot at. I'm also gonna keep the secondaries as a potential armor piercing. Um, well, maybe as an armor piercing capacity. Because that could do a well, fairly healthy portion of damage against their superstructure. And these things reload every 3 seconds, 3.7. The, ev these every 2.6. But then again, I don't have too many of those. That's uh, 6 barrels per side. That's all. Range, 4 kilometers. Could you kindly open up Look, if my main guns won't shoot, 
then this is going to be a bit more of a challenge than I was initially hoping for. Ah, here we are. We're firing armor piercing. Hmm. See, so yeah, at this angle, I'm more confident about that. But the position we were at, not so much. Blocked. What I'm also really curious about is how well are your turrets capable of keeping up with me? Because I'm thundering by this ship. What are you shooting? Some HE, some AP. HE, everybody. Because especially with those three inchers, we can probably set so many fires that these guys are going to go, oh shit. Do a loop around them. Their main turrets are tracking. But I'm not so sure if they can keep up. Partial pen. Yeah, this thing is going to go under pretty soon. Slow down a bit to so reduce the, tur the turning circle. I'm going to also try and get to the stern to make sure I don't have to contend with these bow 15 inches because that will really hurt if it hits. And I really don't want that. Now, their stern has been badly, badly damaged. Give me AP salvo on the 9 inches. Try and hit their stern and pen that. Miss. Destroy the secondary gun. There you go. That's what happens when a 15 inch hits you. There's another one. Destroy the casemate gun. It's not bad. But I believe the HE strategy that I was going for is going to be more useful. Ideally, I'd wipe out their superstructure, but you simply cannot target any one thing specifically. Turn. More fires are being set. Sometimes the main guns, but those main guns are probably really hard, really heavily armored. Yeah. Well, most of their most of their ship is now on fire. How much if their crew is alive? Thirty-one percent dead. So going for a crew diminishing could work. Not terribly likely to work. 32% dead. Sanasawa is still flooding. Oh, there you go. She fixed it. Oh, they fixed a lot of floodings right quick. Props to the British damage control parties. This is when I would really like semi-ballistic armor-piercing shells, because my current shell set is just not suitable for the job at hand. They're so prone to ricochet that it's not very likely to work out. Okay, what if I set the secondaries to AP? Ricochet, 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 ricochet. Yeah, HE is better. 37% crew lost. We might actually go for the crew loss. 38? <laughs> These two inches are so annoying. <laughs> the twos and the threes. Miss me. Try again. Bow turrets don't know where to point anymore. 39% crew lost. Ooh, this angle is pretty juicy. Pretty juicy. Go. And that thing. Flap broadside. More. 40% crew lost. More. Oh, at this angle, I'm losing my pen chance. Main guns? Even my main guns are... Ooh, ow. Even my main guns are having a hard time catching up now. I'm just doing donuts around this guy. Oh, poor bottle ship. Okay, Black Prince. I think... 
that in the next few minutes you're gonna have to choose to abandon ship or surrender. Because you got 41% of your crew lost, 5% more, and you're dead. 42. Price? 65. That's cheaper than mine. No, not by much. I'm 8 million. This thing is... Sorry, I'm 8 million cheaper. 42% crew lost. See, this is how you take down a battleship with a heavy cruiser. You just try and keep outrunning their turrets. If they turn to port, you turn around in a uh, counterclockwise fashion so that they're not able to bring their bow turrets to bear. And sure enough, the ship can damage you because she still has a 15 incher on her stern. But more often than not, that's not going to be enough to actually kill your ship unless it gets a really good damaging hit. Knocking, maybe knocking out an engine or something. But... Barring that particular eventuality, you should be able to just... There you go. You should be able to just party around this thing long enough, deal HE damage to it, and sink it. So, that's how the job gets done. The Sanosawa is going to need some repairs, or... I'm not even sure what the name of the ship is, but she's going to need some repairs. Uh, the Br Black Prince is going to need a few more repairs, i.e. a new crew. And this puts the British battleship fleet at seven ships lost in two months. That is a substantial blow to your uh, capital ship fleet. And I wonder how well they're going to be able to compensate for such a loss. Tokiwa. That's the name of the ship, the Tokiwa. So, how many battleships do the Brits have left? Oh, they... Even their submarines are getting hit by a mine now? I'm not even sure what the E-10 is. They're losing ships in the West Indian, the North Sea, the Yellow Sea. No, you're not getting a battle cruiser. Come on. Bloody hell, loading times are so bad in this game right lately. It seems to be getting worse rather than better. I'm just opening the politics screen. Why is that such a, a hassle for the game? 37 ships. 7 battleships. Really? Okay. So the once proud Royal Navy has been reduced to 419,000 tons of warship. That's not a whole lot. The French, by the way, also lost a lot. Oh, the French? Right. The French are fighting the British and the Americans. Their economic growth, however, is apparently not exactly that bad. So, okay. What I really want to know is, is this naval invasion going to go through? And apparently, it has. I am now in control of Brunei. Which is going to give me an oil production with a number that I have no idea how to pronounce. I just know that when it says E plus something, it is a lot of zeros. So how much are we actually producing per capita now? 43,573 barrels. 11,000, 10,000, 12,000, 30,000 for the Chinese, 2,100 for the Austro-Hungarians, 3,000 for the Italians, 230,000 for the Americans, sweet Jesus, uh, 367,000 for the French, and 97,000 for the Brits. So, with my 43,000, there is definitely room to grow. There's also more room to grow if I want to start taking more of their territory, because I believe Malaya also produces quite a lot of barrels. So the next objective here is to do a little bit of a, a drive-by shooting on Malaya and knock out another battleship while we're at it. All that and more to come in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon for the next.